I've got my skates on. I'm able to go around this whole place pretty well, except I will say it's kind of crowded. We've got people learning how to skate. Everybody spent their day a different way. You guys are fine. You're learning. You're great. But Sam, I have to say, the coolest and probably busiest part of this place is the self-serve beer wall. And it's as simple as this. You come up to the register, you get one of these cards, and it's connected to a tab with your credit card. You're going to walk right over here to this wall. You put in the card. You grab a cup from behind you and you fill up as much as you want. It's pay for what you pour. Walking into Wegmans earlier, I bought this carton of eggs and it cost me about $5. And this is the non-organic kind. If I wanted the organic ones, they would have cost me almost $8. We saw some cars on the side of the road, a couple of accidents, and people are really starting to drive kind of slow. You can see out here in front of us in Tully, roads pretty slushy, pretty wet right now. Operation Orange Warm-Up is looking to help those in the greater Syracuse community who may need things like coats, gloves, hats, and other winter apparel to stay warm. As we're on some unstable ground, students are still down on the sidewalk in front of SIU. Unlike over there, they have not made their way onto the porch yet or toward the door. They are on the bottom. And once again, another trend that we're seeing, the lights are turned off mostly within SIU. I'm seeing a few windows with lights on in them, but other than that, there is no movement in the fraternity. Looking at the urgent care website right now, there are actually appointments available tonight. There's one for 630, just about half an hour away and 645. But looking at tomorrow on here, the soonest appointment you can get is that same time. There isn't an appointment available until tomorrow night. You can even see and use all of the interactive displays, just like this one where I'm going to weave myself into this story. Guys reporting in Seneca Falls. I'm Tegan Brown. Looking at this property on the corner of Stearns Road and State Route 31, how much would you guess it costs? Well, what if I told you it came with 2.2 acres? And what if I told you it will sit right across the street from Micron? If you had to guess how much this house is selling for, how much would you guess it's selling for? It's over in the property where the Micron's going? Yep. I would probably say about 400, 500,000 with Micron going in there. Try about four times that. It's worth over $2 million. That's sick. Honey, we should have bought property over there. So what makes this land so expensive? Well, Hunt Realtor Chip Hodgkin says it's the only corner between Burnett and Stearns, and that carries a lot of power. People that are questioning the price of this property, I don't think they quite understand the magnitude of what Micron's going to be bringing, the number of cars that are going to be going through this, the, the demand for all this land right here to have access to a corner, that is where this, that's where this land really becomes the most valuable. While the land is mostly empty, minus a small house, this corner could be home to a number of things. If we're going to have another 200,000 to 400,000 more people living here, we need more restaurants, more, more gas stations. We need 34 more gas stations. Even though this property's gone way up in market value, it will take some time before surrounding home and landowners can see an increase of their own. If you're within the one mile radius of this plant, it's hitting now, but it's only hitting about 10 to 25%. In two to five years, you're gonna be seeing 50%, 70% growth in property value that's when it w will really hit. But right now, anything beyond five miles from here, it's really not affecting it. The Food Bank of Central New York sees a significant bump in donations between October and December. But it doesn't mean that giving spirit or that supply lasts all year round. We need those donations and those partnerships to continue beyond December 31st so that we can continue to meet that demand for nutritious food out in the community. The food bank gets their supply through three different paths. Food directly from the federal government, donated items from the community, and monetary donations, which really help to increase the supply. We're able to stretch those food dollars so every dollar that comes in allows us to acquire and distribute enough food for three meals. 
While you can donate to the food bank, there are other ways to get involved as well, including volunteering and even taking on a hired role that can only be described one way. A job where you can be proud of the work that you do, um, you're, you're helping people and you're helping people in your area locally, you know, you're helping people that you interact with and see with, so it's, uh, it's, it's a great feeling. Increased need for food is being met right now. But with more people visiting their local food pantry every month, donations are highly needed. The demand is there, the demand uh, is increasing, and the community is going to help us meet that demand. Pro life is a lie, you don't care if people die. For some of those marching in Sunday's event, they said they knew it was something they had to do. I've been coming to every march um, since Roe v. Wade was overturned. Um, I'm a strong believer in women's rights. Um, I grew up with strong women in my life and them fighting for what was right. Emotions ran high for those marching, and especially for those who had lived a majority of their life under 50 years of federally protected abortion care. I was horrified, furious, and couldn't believe that my granddaughter doesn't have the same rights that I do. It wasn't only women marching through downtown Syracuse. Men joined in solidarity as the group chanted for their cause. I kind of get scared when I see people's rights getting taken away, you know. Uh, I think it's important for everyone to help the cause. Um, it doesn't really matter about political party or politics. It's all about if you want people to live the way that they should live. Marchers young and old, male and female, walked the streets of Syracuse as they reflected on a right that is no longer federally protected. Our rights in New York State, even though we have it right now, we're never completely safe and there's women in other states who are getting sent to prison for getting basic health care needs met.